Life Science Products is a UK company with an office in America specialising in non-chemical water treatment. Well, here with me is the owner and MD, Johnny Seckham. Hello to you. Hello, good morning. Now, tell me a bit more about the company and the products. Well, we're a small company based in Oxfordshire. We are a um, developer. We have a product called uh, Water King, which is a physical water conditioner. It's actually a radio transmitter. It generates ultra-high frequencies in the water, which makes the scale uh, that would normally stick to pipes and heaters. It makes that scale form as a powder in the water that's carried through the plumbing, and it doesn't stick around and cause problems. Now, why is this product something that SIBC members and other building services professionals want? Well, it's a very cost-effective and environmentally friendly alternative to conventional water softeners. Uh, there is a requirement to get rid of scale. Historically, the way to get rid of it is using water softeners, but they dump chemicals in the, in the, in the water. They're very expensive. They cost, take a lot of maintenance. Our product, as a physical water conditioner, uses no chemicals. It uh, is very inexpensive, and it requires no maintenance or servicing at all during its life. Now, what are the main kind of buildings uh, and properties that you would install this product in? The products are used in any sector in the, in the industry where, or, or commerce. Wherever water is used, uh, wherever water is heated, um, that's where you can get scale and that's where um, you need scale protection. Now, innovation is very important to building services and the way that buildings are engineered. How important is innovation to you in developing new products, or do you mainly have the one idea? Mainly we have, we have the one product, really, but we're finding out more and more about it the whole time. We're discovering new ways we can use it. We're discovering new applications that it has. There are still areas of its technology which we don't fully understand. We work very closely with Oxford University. Uh, in that field and it does things we discovered recently for example it reduced phosphate levels in swimming pools which we never knew before um, and it d did explain why swimming pools come out cleaner when we when we use the uh, the product and it's this kind of thing which we're discovering as we go along now what innovations are you seeing in the way that buildings are engineered in particular in relation to water treatment well it's mainly to do with the uh, water heater um, design uh, water heaters are becoming more and more sophisticated, people are looking for higher efficiencies um, and in doing that the water heaters themselves become more complicated. They have pumps in the system and pumps are not um, a, a one of the problems we have with this product. Uh, we have to treat the water after a pump. So if we just treat water going into water heater and then it goes to a pump, the treatment decays and it's less effective. So we have to work with water heater manufacturers um, who are designing new heaters so that we can apply the technology in the right place and make it work effectively. What do you think is driving innovation? Is it um, cost savings? Is it regulation? Is it people trying to be more green? It's all of those things really together. Um, legislation to an extent has helped us um, because there are regulations or certainly advice or guidance about uh, treating, uh, treating hard water. The contrast in the UK and America, where I spend a lot of my time, is very significant indeed. I mean, America, although they have a lot of green, uh, you know, green building council and this sort of thing, they're still completely ignorant of some of these things or, or just disregard them altogether that we're really much more into here in the UK. Now, you are active in the U.S. market. Tell me more about that. Yes, we found in, in 2008 we decided to go into the U.S. market. The U.K. market we were, uh, was becoming pretty mature and uh, we had a good market share. We went into, into the States in 2008 and found that they are way, way behind us in terms of using this kind of technology, probably 12 or 15 years even. Um, they, have, they use traditional softeners. They have a lot of very hard water. And there's been uh, various products which haven't worked terribly well in the States, so they're quite resistant to it. Um, but we've found a very uh, rich vein there, and uh, we're expanding uh, right across um, the States from Alaska all the way to Florida. We're based in Las Vegas, and um, we're finding more and more people are turning towards uh, this kind of alternative technologies than traditional water softeners, which they've used before. It's been um, a very exciting time because um, it's, rather like, it's rather sort of deja vu. We've done all of this before in the UK. We're now applying it in the States. And what are the costs and payback periods for your products and similar products? Well, the costs are really uh, relatively low. We can treat, typically we treated a, um, uh, a very large hotel in Las Vegas, three and a half thousand room uh, hotel for $78,000. In the UK, we can treat a, a reasonable size hotel for about two and a half thousand dollars. The costs of the, the capital costs are very low. The installation cost is minimal. 
and the maintenance cost is absolutely zero. Uh, so, and in a retrofit situation, we're looking at something like six month payback periods uh, where we're putting into a retrofit into a, into a property. Well, Johnny Seckham from Life Science Products, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Well, joining me now is Darren Stacey, who is National Sales Manager for Life Science Products. Hello to you. Hello. Now, what other products and services do you offer? Well, in addition to the Water King physical water conditioner, uh, we can also supply a range of UV sterilizers. And we've got a brand new product called Novaflow that's a new anti overflow device. It's mechanically activated, so there's no electrical supply. And it works by shutting off the supply of water to taps once the water level reaches the overflow in the bath or the basin. Um, now, the beauty of that is obviously it's a complete fail safe against flooding. Also, it conserves the water that would otherwise be wasted and uh, it saves the energy as well. And we also offer a, a CPD service, which is the UK's only SIBSI accredited CPD for physical water conditioning. And we roll that out for consultants and design teams at contractors as well. And what kind of scope do you think that there is for innovative engineering uh, ideas, in particular reference to your area of expertise, water treatment? Uh, well, there, there's huge scope and uh, the way in which we deploy the technology can be quite complicated. Um, other things inside the uh, building system like pumps can affect where we recommend installing water king. So we do do an extra unit which is called an OEM which we can actually supply to go inside the housing of water heaters. Um, but we generally look at all sites uh, as an individual and give bespoke recommendations for that site. So obviously the scope there is huge because it varies from place to place. And for people who are worried about costs and payback periods, what examples do you have? Recently we installed units to a leading hotel and they'd actually had a price done for a base exchange softener which is something that they normally install. Uh, the softener quotation was about 45000 and there's the running costs which are over £15,000 a year. Water King was used instead. The installation cost was just over £5,000. The running cost is thirty or forty pounds a year, literally just for the electrical supply. Uh, there's no maintenance, so the life cycle cost of the unit is just the electrical supply. Um, and the only difference the chief engineer on site could tell was that uh, after the quarterly Legionella cleanses of the shower heads, they could just start to notice some aesthetic scaling, but there was no impact on the site other than that. And uh, when they opened the water heaters as well, they were completely clean. He was delighted with the outcome. So payback in terms of Water King against a base exchange softener, we'd suggest would be relatively quick and generally we can see payback periods of uh, as little as six months. And I mean, it has a lifespan of, of 25 years or an enormous yeah. lifespan, but there is some resistance still in the industry to the product. There is some resistance. It's generally from people that haven't already used the technology. Um, when people part with their money, there can be reticence until we get some good news back. But generally, we don't get good news because no news is good news. Obviously, unless there's a problem, we don't get contacted from the contractors or consultants that are using it. But it, it's relatively widely accepted now. And also with the Part L regulations in 2006, the Domestic Heating Compliance Guide also brought it more into the mainstream. There's a stipulation there for treatment of uh, hard water with some sort of device. So it, it is more mainstream now than it was. Well, Darren Stacey from Life Science Products, thank you very much. Thank you.